now we are doing question number three so the data of occurrence of particular disease in a different age group of a locality is given below and there is a table so let me draw let me make the table so age group age group 15 to 25 26 to 35 36 to 40 41 to 50 51 to 55 56 to 60 61 to 75 76 to 90 and number of people number of people is 25 30 27 18 47 20 6 2 now you can see even here so question is asking us to draw the histogram as well as the frequency polygon so the question is asking us to draw the histogram as well as the frequency polygon so the question is same as the previous one so draw histogram and frequency polygon okay so first thing which you need to watch a look is this one it is not continuous here it is 25 and here it is 26 so make it in, into continuous so how to make into continuous or class or write down anything and make it, it into continuous so 15 okay you reduce by 0.5 and then it will be 14.5 to this one 25 will become 25.5 increase by 0 0.5 26 reduce by 0 0.5 it will be 25.5 35 increase by 0 0.5 36 reduce by 0 0.5 it will be 35.5 and 40 increase by 0 0.5 it will be 40.5 41 reduce by 0 0.5 it will be 40.5 and 50 you increase by 0 0.5 it will be 50.5 51 reduce by 0 0.5 it will be 50.5 and 55 you increase by 0.5 that will be 55.5 56 and reduce by 0.5 it will be 55.5 60 increase by 0.5 it will be 60.5 61 reduce by 0.5 60.5 75 increase by 0.5 75.5 and 76 reduce by 0.5 it will be 75.5 and 90 increase by 0.5 it will be 90.5 okay that's all now let us draw the histogram and frequency polygon as well so first of all let us see the histogram so from we know from 14.5 to 25.5 it is 25 so 14.5 to 25.5 it is 25 okay draw like this i have already explained why this is needed okay this is because 14.5 is not the beginning number right before 14.5 there are many numbers so just to denote that there are many other numbers before 14.5 then we are going to use this sign okay so next is 25.5 to 35.5 it is 30 so 25.5 to 35.5 it is 30 here okay next one is 35.5 to 40.5 it is 27 so 35.5 to 40.5 it is 25 26 27 here next one is 40.5 to 50.5 it is 18 so 40.5 to 50.5 it is 18 here okay 18 will be between 15 to 20 little bit somewhere here right so i have drawn like that so similarly all this we are going to do like the same thing with 75.5 to 90.5 75.5 75.5 to 90.5 it is only two so it is here now we need to draw the frequency polygon how to draw take the middle one here also you 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 take the middle one and let us keep some gap here so i uh, know why don't i keep that so somewhere here now you take something where the frequency is zero here so okay 
take this one where the frequency is zero give it name as z so let us name this point as z now this is where the frequency is zero okay where where this one okay number of people is zero so let me write down here number of people number of people and this is h okay so this is where number of people is zero so join this two line after that join this two line join this two line join this two line join my line may not be straight so but when you draw please try drawing straight one okay so join this two line join this two line join not line okay join this two point and at last from this you take to another point okay somewhere here where i don't get the space and write it as m so m is also the point where the frequency will become zero so your polygon frequency polygon is a cycle complete okay complete frequency polygon because it begins with zero frequency and it ends with zero frequency and the frequency look it rises to the maximum so at last you just make a point and mark it as m i don't have the space here so that's all okay i hope you can understand and thank you so much if you don't understand please write down in the comment below so we'll meet in the next video